It's back to school week on App Judgment, and you don't need a PhD to know that textbooks are expensive and heavy. For students and teachers, e-textbooks might be your answer. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the National Fight Against Drunk Driving. Over the limit, under arrest. Hi everyone, I'm Annie, and welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile application review show. It's September, and you know what that means, school days! Personally, I could not wait to dive into my copy of Sight, Sound, and Motion, Applied Media Aesthetics, 3rd Edition. But when I head over to the campus bookstore, I see that this single textbook cost me practically what I paid for this iPhone. And even on Amazon, it's still pretty steep. The worst kept secret in academia is that textbooks are kind of a ripoff. And even worse, they are a total pain in the ass to haul around. It's so annoying when your backpack weighs more than you do. Wouldn't it be sweet if you could simply download books to your phone so you can study anywhere at any time? Well, you are in luck. CourseSmart LLC has created an app that lets you do just that. It's called eTextbooks and it's free at the App Store. Here's how it works. You create an account at the CourseSmart website first. Then you can go ahead and download a digital version of whatever fascinating text you're looking for at a much cheaper rate than what you would find at your bookstore or even on Amazon. You end up saving around 50% on average. From there, you can access the book on your iPhone or iPod Touch anywhere you have an internet connection. The interface lets you easily browse by chapter and zoom in on charts and pics for easy viewing. The text and images look great, and there's also a handy little ruler feature that makes it easy to keep track of where you are on the page. This really is the perfect tool for cramming right before an exam or a small seminar where you have to sound like you know what you're talking about. If I'd had this last semester, well, let's just say it could have probably saved me a few all-nighters. I know what you're thinking. There's gotta be a catch, right? Find out when we come back, but first, a quick lesson in applied marketing theory. Far too many people do not understand that alcohol, drugs, and driving do not mix. The message is simple, guys. Over the limit, under arrest. Don't put yourself or others in danger. Law enforcement officials will be out in force all over the country from August 21st through Labor Day weekend, cracking down on drunk drivers. Besides putting your life at risk, you could end up costing yourself a huge amount of time and money. You can still go out and have fun, just plan ahead. If you're going to drink, designate a driver, call a taxi, use mass transit, or find some other kind of sober ride program. Not to mention there are tons of apps out there, like Taxi Magic, that make it easy for you to get a cab based on your GPS location. Just search Taxi at the App Store. So what is the downside to e-textbooks? Well, as you might imagine, the major drawback is they probably don't carry everything you need. They have around 7,000 titles available at CourseSmart, but when I searched for some of the books that I used in my major, they weren't there. So you may end up having to make a trip to the dreaded campus bookstore anyway. They also don't have a means of taking notes on what you're reading, which always helps me stay engaged in what I'm studying. Although, CourseSmart is developing a feature that lets you make notations and view them anywhere for a future version. Overall, eTextbooks is definitely likely to save you a few bucks and is easy on the eyes, but the selection is limited and it doesn't have a way of engaging with what you're reading. So it's not perfect, but it is free, so if you are in school or a teacher, go ahead and download eTextbooks. It's easy on the wallet, much easier on your back, and maybe even good for your GPA too. Do you have an app you'd like to see us review? Send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. Or you can always catch me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Thanks for watching App Judgment. <laughs>